In May 2024, unusually bright auroras appeared across large parts of the world, caused by a powerful solar storm. That storm came from one of the most active regions on the Sun seen in decades. What makes this event scientifically important is that researchers were able to track this same region for nearly three months, watching how it formed, evolved, and produced eruptions. This long-term data set is giving scientists new insight into how solar storms actually develop. In this video, we will explore what was observed, why it matters, and what it means for predicting future space weather. Let's get started. When the solar storm of May 2024 produced unusually bright auroras across much of the world, scientists quickly focused on its source, an active region on the Sun labeled NOAA 13664. What set this region apart was not just how powerful it was, but how completely it was observed. Active regions are areas where the Sun's magnetic field becomes concentrated and distorted, often leading to solar flares and eruptions. These regions usually disappear from view after about two weeks as the Sun rotates, which makes it difficult to follow how they evolve over time. In the case of NOAA 13664, however, researchers were able to keep tracking it long after it moved away from Earth's line of sight. This was made possible by combining observations from Solar Orbiter of ESA and Solar Dynamics Observatory of NASA. Solar Orbiter's changing orbit around the Sun allowed it to see areas that are hidden from Earth while the Solar Dynamics Observatory continued to observe from near Earth space. By aligning and merging data from both spacecraft, scientists created a nearly continuous record of the region's behavior. From April 16th to July 18th, 2024, No Way 13664 was monitored for about 94 days, covering nearly three full solar rotations. During this period, Researchers watched it emerge, grow in complexity, produce multiple solar storms, and then gradually weaken. This resulted in the longest continuous data set ever collected for a single solar active region. Rather than a collection of isolated images, the data formed a coherent timeline. Scientists could see how the region changed from one day to the next, how its magnetic field evolved, and how eruptions fit into that larger pattern. For the first time, a highly active solar region was documented across almost its entire life cycle. The main value of this long-term observation lies in what it reveals about solar magnetism. Active regions become dangerous when their magnetic fields are highly stressed and twisted, this state allows them to store energy, which can later be released as solar flares and massive clouds of charged particles. NOAA 13664 was notable because it remained in this high-stress magnetic state for most of its existence. Instead of settling down after a few eruptions, it continued to rebuild magnetic tension and release it again and again. This behavior explains why it produced multiple solar storms over an extended period. By tracking the region across several rotations, scientists were able to observe how this magnetic complexity developed. The region grew through repeated bursts of magnetic flux emerging from inside the Sun. These new magnetic structures interacted with older ones, increasing the overall instability. About a month after the region first appeared, it reached its peak magnetic complexity. From there, it entered a slow decline, though it continued to generate eruptions even as it weakened. This timeline is significant because it provides a clearer link between magnetic evolution and solar activity. In most previous cases, scientists could only observe short fragments of a region's life. Now, they can see how long a region stays unstable and how that instability relates to repeated flaring. The study also highlights how much important development can occur when a region is out of direct view. No 13,664 continued evolving even when it was on the far side of the sun, building up and releasing energy. Without multi-viewpoint observations, those changes would have gone unnoticed, 
making it harder to understand why the region remained so active when it returned. Together, these findings offer a more complete picture of how large, long-lived active regions behave. They do not turn solar storms into predictable events, but they improve our understanding of the conditions that make powerful eruptions more likely. Solar storms are not just an astronomical phenomenon, they have real-world consequences. When large eruptions reach Earth, they can interfere with satellites, navigation systems, radio communications, and power grids. The May 2024 storm caused disruptions in satellite-based agriculture systems, affecting drones, positioning tools, and remote sensors. Even spacecraft on Mars experienced interference as charged particles produce noise in imaging equipment. As society becomes more dependent on satellite infrastructure and automated technologies, the risks associated with space weather continue to grow. This is why scientists are working toward better forecasting methods. The long-term dataset from NOAA 13664 contributes to that effort. By showing how magnetic complexity builds and persists over weeks, it provides a foundation for identifying warning signs that an active region is becoming more likely to erupt. Instead of relying on short-term snapshots, future models can incorporate how long a region has remained unstable and how its magnetic structure has changed over time. Looking ahead, new missions are being designed to take advantage of this approach. One of the most important is Vigil spacecraft of ESA, planned for launch in 2031. Vigil will observe the Sun from a position that allows it to see active regions before they rotate into Earth's direct view. This would give scientists advance notice of potentially dangerous regions days before they face Earth. When combined with detailed studies like the one of NOAA 13664, such missions could transform how space weather is monitored. The focus would shift from reacting to sudden eruptions to tracking and assessing the long-term behavior of solar regions. The May 2024 aurora was only the visible result of a much deeper solar process. By tracking NOAA 13664 for nearly three months, scientists captured the full life cycle of one of the sun's most active regions. That record is now reshaping how we understand and eventually forecast space weather.